Hello and be welcome to a Let's Develop Teaser on Code Abbey. Today I'm going to start playing the first level of Code Abbey and you guys can decide whether or not I continue on this game by giving me a thumbs up on this episode or not. So all I did so far is registering for the site and now I see here the list of problems that are available for me to solve. And I will just start with the first one, which is named sum a plus b. Since starting could be hard sometimes, let us try the simplest possible problem for practice on submitting answers, etc. You are to add two numbers and tell their sum. Hmm, I guess I can do that. Though you can do it manually, try to write a simple program in any programming language you know or like or want to learn or whatever. A sequence of steps described below is also shown with pictures in the demo pages. Whatever that means. How to submit a solution. If you're logged in, you will see the following fields. Test data, your answer solution. Test data, my answer solution. I can see that. And for example, what? Test data contains input data test cases, the two numbers which you should sum up. Okay, there's two numbers, I see that. Your answer is where you should put your result after processing test data, okay. Your solution is where you should save your program code. It would not be checked, at least automatically, but it will help you reuse your code in the next task. You can revisit the task at any time to see your submitted solution. We provide samples of the program in several popular languages, but you're strongly advised not to serve them before you solve this task. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay, language auto detect. What kind of language do they want? Ooh, they really have uh, lots of languages. They even have brain fuck. Interesting. Unfortunately, I'm not uh, able to write brain fuck from the top of my head, but instead I will probably go to use Java here. But I mean, maybe with the exception of brain fuck. Uh, and some others, in fact, I, don't, I didn't know there's a language called Julia. <laughs> Rag apps. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe not all the languages, but if you have preferences in terms of the languages, just write me a comment and I will at least consider it if I'm able to write something in the language without uh, learning the language completely beforehand. So for now, let's use Java and say, okay, how am I supposed to name the parameters? I mean, it's obviously A plus B, but I'm not sure if I really get how that game here works, but let's just try that out solution class interface or enum expected oh okay i have re i really have to write full java code so this is class c and class c has public void main string arcs does it or not i'm not sure and Let's indent that and go here and say whatever system out print line. What's the numbers? Let me just copy that up here. This one plus this one. And now I want to execute that at Java. Is this better? Oh, main method is not static. Admittedly, that's right. Retry. And he took the answer. Can I submit that now? My answer is correct. I received one point of blessing. Wow, my enlightenment is now one. 
these values are approximate. Oh, so they approximate my enlightenment. That's nice. Uh, exact ones will be known in a few minutes after total recalculation. Foo, 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 foo. I guess it would stay with one, right? My achievement was posted to the mess hall. Okay, I want to see that. Where am I? Foo, that's my name. I'm proud to tell I've just solved some A plus B. Yeah, okay. I'm very proud. Okay, I can now see other solutions to the task. I can visit my profile, share my success on Facebook. Yeah, I see if I can visit forum, back to the task list, whatever other notes on this. Yeah, okay. I guess we got the idea in, in general. So apparently we get a concrete problem or a couple of cases and we're supposed to write a program that solves these cases. At least for some of the languages, we're uh, able to execute them online. For the other languages, that's probably not possible. But yeah, that's how this game works. And as I said, if you would like me to continue playing Code Abbey, let me know by giving me a thumbs up or give me a comment uh, in case you want to tell me anything else like a preferred language for the game. I think it's kind of fun to play this game and I uh, like this uh, enlightenment thing here. Yeah, that's it for today anyways. Um, hope to see you next time.